following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And, uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take you longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 330, Nasdaq off 152, SP's off 37, gold contract down five bucks, trading out at 1784 an ounce. We get silver down 18 cents, 66 dollars, 61 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 69 dollars, 66 dollars, 61 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year note down two ticks, trading 134.08. The 30 year off two at 165.02 and King Dollar. King Dollar's got a bit up here. It's up 501 ticks, 93.129. Euro is at 117. Yen's at 109.58. And the British pounds at 137 to 1 the US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we, what you're doing out here, folks, is that you're actually testing. Well, the S&P, yeah, let's bring the, the, the futures up first. You're testing the lows of yesterday. Uh, you know, yesterday you came down pretty hard. Today we come down harder. Uh, and inside the, the S&P, that number was uh, 4433. And the bottom line is that you go down there. And we did when we did get down there, it was on lighter volume, man. So the bottom line, well, intraday this is. If we go into the NQs, this is telling me that as we come into this close out here, this market still wants to be bought, which is just a mind blower. But the bottom line is that that's how it's set up. The NQs had a really nice test. And you can see the difference. If you're watching Tiger TV here, it's pretty dramatic. The NQs had a high volume low from yesterday that was laying out there inside the future market. That, that high volume low had 30, 24,000 contracts at uh, 1030 in the morning. Bottom line, we got down here today. And guess what? You got down here with 15,000 contracts versus the 24, you rejected lower price, now you're inside the range again. Once you get inside the range again, the bottom line is that this thing can climb as much as it wants to climb. So it did the test down the bottom. If we take a look at the NDX, one, uh, the three Qs, that was just the NDX 100 that we looked at, the uh, same type of setup inside there. If we take a look at it, the low of the Qs were 363.70 yesterday, today 363.23, now at 363.70, they were selling down 1.8 million shares. When we got into the low out here today, you're talking about 750,000. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Uh, and, oh, yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that uh, 10 minutes ago, that buy has some volume in. So bottom line, this is going to try to uh, claw back as much as it can. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at gold, gold contract down 520. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Uh, bottom line, you get to 1797. You're at 1784 right now. The real kick is going to be like, how does this pull back? That's that's the the number here. I mean, we've we've done um, one way on the way down, down fast and furious. Uh, hits a low out here uh, a week ago Friday at 1677. Bounces out right back to the 1797 area, and you want to see it stay inside 1772. 1772 is the higher range uh, and i suspect uh if we take a look at the dollar out here we pull this dollar up and take a look at the dollar the dollars has quite a move out here half a cent over 500 ticks 
Uh, that's the last high that we out ha had out here in, in the dollar was uh, 93.162. We got we beat it today. We're 93.165. The swing it's trying to take out is 93. Yeah, 161. So it took that out. That means it's going after the March swing, which is that 93.437. Small caps. We go take a look at the small caps out here. What we have inside the small caps? Uh, you rejected lower price and. This could get interesting now. This is why. Oh, this is good. Well, we'll see how this shakes out. So we know that the small caps, all the lows have volume. And what we did out here today is that you got down to two. This is the IWM we're talking about. We get down to 213.75. Now, the highs of the lows is 214.44. We did volume there of 58 million shares. Well, we're not even going to be close to that. So what we're going to get here is that you're going to get a rejection of lower price with lighter volume, and that's saying, guess what, man? This market's going to bounce again. So, pretty wild. Uh, in fact, I, I want to go over to the gold market for something, to just show you something, too. Because what also happened is that the gold market, uh, if you're into candlestick charting on a weekly basis, this is pretty wild how this shook out. We'll see where this whole thing's going to go. But this thing had a monster candle. It was a hammer. Uh, and you, you don't see, this is on a weekly basis. You know, that last week we hit the low of 16, 1692, a high of 1777. When you see something like that, and we got higher this week, um, that's saying we're going to go a lot higher. So this is going to be intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Meaning, the dollar's going higher right now, so it's like, okay, hold it, man. You got a candle, big deal. Well, bottom line is that, you know, there's, there's a big difference. We take a look at the, and I'm going to get into uh, AEM and GOLD in a second because what has happened was this, uh, is that Fidelity went from buyers to sellers, folks, last week. That was the first time in months, and months. We're going to take a look at the 10-year um, the note, 10-year note right now. We got, uh, we did 1.2 million, so you're still doing volume, man. I mean, it gave it up on price again, but you're doing volume. And that's saying this thing still wants higher price, lower yield. Right now, the 10-year is trading out at a price point of 1.25. Uh, if we go into uh, AEM, which you're going to see, this will pop right up pretty quickly. The only ones that I saw them buy this week were AEM and, and GOLD. Um, and you can see on the 16th, well, not the 16th, they've actually bought this last Friday. They bought 4.7 4 million uh, uh, AEM. Now they own 7.88% uh, of AEM. And on Barrick, we take a look at Barrick, what you have with Barrick out here. Uh, Barrick, there we go, six is eight. There she is. Look at this is good. So the, they've been selling Barrick for a long period of time. Guess right, they stopped bu buying it again. 1.2 million shares. So um, there's, some, there's some action there. There's, there's definitely some action. And when Fidelity's a buyer, it's a beautiful thing. When they're in a seller, it's a disaster. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 331. We get the NASDAQ uh, off 154. Uh, S&Ps are off 38. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 354. We get the Nasdaq off 160. S&Ps are up 40. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You just hit newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You just hit the opening call. You can get that for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for five for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. You can get it for a year for $11.95 which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You like it, great. You can keep it. If it doesn't work for you, you get your money back. When you get this newsletter, also, folks, is that you, once you get on the page, Basil has about 10 archives out there. If you want to understand how to ride this wave on a continual basis, bisect, dissect the market, great newsletter. Check it out right here, right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Interesting market. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt. We'll see where this baby goes. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, you got a little selling out here today. We had some selling yesterday, but it's like, well, it, what, what's it's, really it's bigger interesting, numbers, but the percentages are not big. Right. And the other thing is that it's very selective so that each time the market does pull back, there's just enough stocks to, to rally. For instance, yesterday, the Dow made an all-time high of 35,631. Um, and the candle that I mentioned to my subscribers to my opening call, uh, this candle is it's green, but it has the same uh, principle that I use when I talk about the Chapman Wave Roman candle. Usually it's a red candle. What happens is it, it kind of opens close to the high. It makes a fractional high, and then it drops sharply, and then it rallies. Uh, very sharply, and it rallies so that it closes. The body of the candle is at least halfway above the, the wick from the bottom. And that's exactly what we saw. And the rule of thumb is that if there is a move the following session or within two sessions that takes out halfway of the wick, that's this little candle right here, and that would go from the, uh, let's see, that would be from 35490 uh, to the 35,231 low. So I had said so if it went under 35,400 and held it just for a short while, be careful because we could really 
test the low of the day and maybe even close towards the low. Well, we went below that. Now, trying to rally, it's another, it's almost looking like another, a second Chapman Wave Roman candle, this time red. And the whole idea is that the wick is just very tiny at the top. It's like that's where you'll light the candle for the, that's how I got the Roman candle uh, description. Okay. And so this, this says, the MACD is still strong. It is pulling back, but it's strong. The stochastic is very strong at 91%. On balance volume has been, this is the blue line, and the daily chart has been a little overbought. The retro strength is turning down, but it's still pretty good. And all I'm using now is basically the Chapman wave methodology of a D or an E, and you've got to be careful because that's where you've got to raise your foot off the accelerator, hover over the brake. So we've been long um, from about the 34,800 level uh, periodically with the diamonds, we're still holding a call long way back from uh, starting March of the low of March last year, the 23rd. But this is a trading position, and we took that off, and we actually now have a short position. <clears throat> and it's not a heavy short position, but it is a short position because I think that we've started. If you look at the weekly chart from the 35,091 <clears throat> high that was made way back in May. We have really been, the, the whole principle of the rectangle formation is they can last a lot longer than your patients. And look at this. This is now, what are we, October, we are um, August. This is the 17th. 17th so yep. we're in, into the third week of August. And here we are looking at 35,271, just uh, 200, not even 200 points above that high that was made in May. So this is still a huge magnet area. Therefore, It'll act as a pullback for, for, for the market on a shorter term basis. But it also says this whole area could be very strong support. So I'm doing this uh, because we've had so many stocks. In fact, in the last week or so, we've had about five stocks or indexes that I went to that we that for subscribers to open and call that have gone to all time highs. Even today, with the market down sharply, we've got. Uh, one stock that's at an all-time high. So I'm saying, let's be a little careful here. Let's look at other areas. Um, you know, we, you, you were speaking about gold just a moment ago. It's a very interesting thing. The GDX, which is the gold miners, has been kind of trapped between this 32 area and the 34 to 35, and then it starts to pull back. So this is going to be very important because you had mentioned the dollar as well. So here, here gold's... Holding OK, it's not great, but it's holding OK. So there's nothing really wrong. GDX is close to taking out support. But look at the dollar. And we've been long the dollar for you know, since April of 2018 at 90.07 via the UUP. We watched it go all the way to the uh, to the 102.99 high of January, then pull back. I said, be careful. We want to hold it as more a mark of uh, the U.S. economy, the strength. And then, of course, we got COVID. But it's still holding pretty well, it's still long. And here it is at 93.13. You'll see this, you'll recognize this oval pattern says there's a chance that we could still pop to the upside, then come back and retest the middle. But in fact, it's at the higher range. So I think this is a really diverse market where you've got different areas, different stocks. Remember, how for how long did we talk about Amazon being the real Amazon until it hit that high of the 13th of July, 37.7308? And then it made that pattern that we call the dreaded H, the lowercase H went one to one to the downside. Here it is under the 200 period moving average. So we're seeing rotation into what were really stellar stocks or stellar areas and starting to see uh, fewer and fewer in each sector lead the market higher. And that's the only thing that really concerns me is that it's become so singular, it's become so specific to, um, for instance, here's another one that we've got, uh, Agilent, I've spoken to a number of times about it. This is Agilent Technologies. We got it 70.69 way back in April of last year, taking little bits of all the way up. And here it is. It makes an all-time high yesterday and it's pulling back. Uh, scientific solutions for, for labs and businesses. And the other one that we've got is also in this kind of scientific area. This is Thermo Fisher Scientific Equipment, Medical Equipment. So I think it's very specialized. You know, Home Depot was leading for so long and then boom, today it got smacked. Oh, I didn't finish this. This is peak A, B, C, maybe a peak D in the daily, underneath the previous high. So one by one, we're seeing leadership become a little bit more selective. And that's the part that concerns me. Um, if you're in the stocks that are doing well, I say just you know keep holding them, raise your stop, take a little bit off. But the area that says to me,
be a little careful. For instance, we finally got out of our IWM, which we've held the Russell 2000 since uh, we had it at 173 back in, I think it was November. We, we, we took a little bit so far all the way, but today we're at a peak G on this daily, it starts to pull back. I think this is saying, you know what, this should be another test of the 210 to 207 level. Very special. I mean, here we go, you know, SBX, the 500, S&P 500, makes an all-time high yesterday. Doesn't look bad. And look at that weekly chart. But I think it's becoming a lot more specialized, a lot more se uh, selective. And that's the thing that you've got to be careful about. Yeah, it's going to be interesting watching those things shake out. You know, particularly because it was interesting when you grab the dial basil, it looks like it just come back to the breakout area. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah that thing. that's yeah. right. We'll see how Correct. it shakes out. Listen, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks. You too. Have Thanks, a great evening. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 355. Nasdaq's up 158. S&Ps are up 40. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at uh, 326. You get the NASDAQ up 146. S&Ps are off uh, 36. And uh, let's just uh, take a quick look at the NASDAQ because uh, you got a half hour left in the market, right? Uh, bottom line, you're down 148 right now. And this thing, <laughs> this thing wants to run, man. This is going to be crazy watching this thing shake out here. We'll see what happens. Uh, this looks to me like this thing's going to try to, you know, get up over this last swing point and 
probably get up to somewhere into the, what is that? That's 15,058. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Because if it gets to 15,058, that means that, uh, what, 15,000, that's 58, 68, 78. That means we'd only be down like 70 inside of the uh, NQs. Let's go to Dave in Chicago. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, doing good. I, I spoke to you probably about a week ago, and you asked me about the weather in Chicago. And I, oh, I was uh, yes. calling to report to you that we have much nicer weather now. That's after a talking beautiful to you. thing. So. Um, sight. Oh, yeah, that's great. Man. <laughs> um, I was calling about OIH. Okay. So let's take and because uh, last we spoke, you kind of said that there might be some more pain involved, and well, there is more pain involved. So <laughs> it's uh, it's worse than it, you know than it was last week. So, yeah, so I was so curious what your read is on it. Let's take a look here. The OIH, the uh, low for the year right now is 87. The highs were 248. Trading 176. So you know you're, you're coming into this lower swing. I mean, it, yeah. Let me put this out. That's the swing. Well, I broke the lower swing. Okay, so it broke the lowest swing today. The lowest swing was 177.34. We broke that. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so 168, 173. We broke 177.34. Yeah, this is dangerous, man. I mean, um, you know, you have 166. Well, this would. You can see if you're watching Tiger TV right now, like you come down and you broke the swing, which is the high volume swing, and that's when we were talking. That's what I was looking at, okay? Which is the 177, mm -hmm. 34. So when you break this, right? And in this particular case, you're a dollar thirty away from it. It's like, okay, man, it's going to go to the next swing. That's 168. So you got to be careful, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's heavy, okay. exactly. And I think this is this is all the oil service stocks, right? believe they are. Yeah, it's all oil services, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, the dilemma for me always is uh, the price of oil, you know, and, and like, you know, if you look back at like 2019 or before and then what OAH was, I don't understand why it's so much lower than, you know, what it was. If you look at even at like 2019, what oil was and what the OIH was trading for, it, but trading much lower, so. Yeah, I think... You have to get your head wrapped around. So let's talk about this for a second, because I don't believe that the correlation is kind of like, it, 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 well, yeah, no, the correlation is definitely what the price of oil is versus where the oil service stocks can go, okay? The difference is this, is that picture that you own one of these oil companies right now, right? As oil goes up and down, you have to make the decision that when oil's at a certain price, do you want to spend that much more money, okay, on mm -hmm. more wells? Because that's what we're talking here. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's the contracts that are going out, you know, and if those CEOs think oil's going lower, well, guess what? They're not going to send those contracts out, man. <laughs> hmm. it, it, hey, it's, hey it's, let me ask you quickly, what do you think about the weekly, though? Like, where's, what's the number on the weekly that it needs to hold? The weekly... I believe it's the same. Let, let me just pull it up. On the weekly, you, you know, you want you want to see it get back inside this 177.34. I mean, on the weekly, mm -hmm. it still wants to go to 168. You know, if this, yeah. So. so. So generally, if it reclaims that within the week, that's obviously a positive sign, then. So. Yes, it it would be. Yeah. Yes, it would be. Yeah. 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 All right. Cooking, well, brother. Well, thank, thanks for your read. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Um, if we take a look, folks, at, uh, um, you know, we had uh, all the 13F filings uh, yesterday, and there's a few. This Look at, watch this, man. When I was just, I just realized this when I was bringing up AEM. There's a few of these that, man, they came in big. And it's surprising that they're not up more, but this is good. I mean, if I, when I hit this bar, well, here, first off, you can see, Fidelity, that's right there at the very top. But they can see right down there, Power Corporation of Canada, whoever that is, they bought another million shares. They own 6.4 million now. You had First Eagle, they had owned 5 million. They sold 1.5 million. Uh, Finlay Park bought 740,000. You had uh, Deutsche Bank buy 708,000. You had uh, 
credit group by 323,000. Uh, if we go over to uh, Barrett Gold for a second, I know one of the Tigers are saying that it looks like uh, Buffett came into it, but I don't see him here. Um, what you do see here, though, in Barrett Gold is a huge amount of buy-in, man. This is like crazy. Um, it, well, what's crazy about it is that the stock hasn't gone higher because someone, that means someone's selling it, man. It, well, we know Fidelity was selling it all the way down, but it looks to me that you can see Fidelity stopped buying it again, okay? Then Capital Group, okay, now this is, this is a big company out of California. This is all the, uh, oh, I know the, the mutual funds. I forget the name of them right now, but they're big. They bought 8.6 million shares. They own 4% of it now. They have 73 million shares. You had Bank of Canada buy 1.6 million. Bank of Montreal buy 10 million. Uh, Power Corp of Canada buy two. You had Invesco buy six. You had Wellington buy four. Now, see, this is cool with the Wellington. You've heard me talk about this a million times. You got Wellington, State Street, Rena I mean, uh, uh, Fidelity. They're all in the same bag, man. They, they just follow each other all over the place. Um, you know, so the, the bottom line uh, is that, you know, oh, this is interesting. Oh, I got to take a picture of this one because out of one of the funds that says Fidelity sold 22 million. Cool. I got to, I'll, I'll pull that up in a bit. Well, actually, it's going to be when I get off because what, what does end up happening is that the, um, I have pictures on my phone exactly how many. <laughs> shares they had almost every day. Uh, you, you know what is interesting, folks, is that you have, uh, is a, it's, yeah, one second, let me pull this up. This is, this is kind of a first that I've seen in a long time, meaning that you got a company out here that announced that they're going to accept gold as payment. Uh, Pelletier, there it is right there. So you got uh, Plantier, Plantier turned around, and they bought the actual gold bars. They bought 50 million in gold bars. 50.7 uh, million in 100 ounce bars in August, and customers now pay for, can pay for software and gold. So that's that's a new one, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You never know what's going to stop moving markets, but uh, if in fact uh, companies start on the bandwagon and accept gold as well as Bitcoin, you're going to see some action there, man. That'll, that'll that's a different dynamic. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah. Let me get these cues up. So that we get a question. If you're shot the cues, where would you go with this? And if we... So right now, the cues are down 427. If they're laying right here, even at down $4 at, at 4 stay right there, man. Because this consolidation, the bottom of this consolidation on the cues is three, 355. That's how this seems to be laying out. Because you can see, if you're watching Target TV, yesterday, we, what happened is this. Yesterday, you came down with volume, and you rejected lower price. You know, we got down to, uh, yesterday, 363.70. You did volume of 35 million. You got to remember, we did, made highs of 21 million. So you did volume of 35 million. Well, today, we're already done 39. So if you can't get price going, and you have volume going, you got to remember that, guess what? The bottom is consolidation is down there. You know, you're still going into a high volume day from the 27th, and that's 360. So your probability is much higher. I would say that, guess what? The bottom is consolidation. You know, the top of it is 355, the bottom is 352, and that's game. If we go over to the spy and we take a look at the spy, you're going to see the spy basically is, doesn't look to me like it's, it's going to basically get any juice. That's where there's some divergence here. Um, you know, the SPY already has an expansion of volume. Yes, they had, had a high volume day, but you had a rejection of lower price. You did 73 million. Today, set 78 million. This SPY looks to me it can get to 431 to 421. So that's, that's, that's how that baby's set up. Vista Gold. Let's go take a look at Vista Gold. And the question is, is Vista Gold in trouble here? I don't see it in trouble, but there's no buyers. You know, uh, when we say in trouble... So, you know, it's testing the 79 high volume swing low today, um, and we'll see if it rejects it. It went to 76. It's at 79. 79 is the number. Um, we take a look at this, and it, what you can learn on a lot of these equities right now, you'll see these high volume lows, folks. When they get laid out, they're problems, and they have to get tested. And I know sometimes you say, "Oh man, I don't want it to go down and test it," but what I've found out is that if you don't do the test, then you can go, you know, higher by three or four points, and then all of a sudden it whips right around on you, comes right back into you. And uh, so the way that the Vista is set up right now, I'd say that the uh, bottom line is that it's really close whether we get a rejection of lower price. We have a rejection of lower price, but guess what? You're, you're over by half a penny. It's not uh, huge. Silver, we take a look at the silver market. Silver needs help, man. Uh, there's no two ways about that. We got the, we got the bid on gold. We didn't get the bid in silver. You know, we'll see how this just shakes out. And silver is all, always much more volatile than gold. There's no two ways about that. Um, you know, so I suspect we could, silver right now, I suspect we'll pull back to like the 2353 area, another seven cents on the way down. And as long as it's on light volume, let's do the SLV and see what we have here. So if we take a look at the SLV, eh, that's, that's pretty good looking actually. That's good. Okay, so if we take a look at the SLV, what you had is this. You actually pushed into the swing from yesterday, and you finally got some volume. Yesterday, we didn't have any volume in the SLV. You did 13 million. You got the 32.15. I mean, 22.15. Today, you did 22.15, but yet you have 15.9 million. Okay, so um, that baby here, um, I suspect, still wants higher price. If we look at Great Panther, look at this, man. Holy cow. Great Panther has taken another leg down. 
This is serious business. Let's see where this is going. So GPL, what do we have here? So the, the low in GPL, I expect it's today. There it is, 43 cents today. 116 is the high. Next time they come out with numbers is on the 15th of October. And if we pull this back, This is coming all the way back into the breakout area. So this can, yeah, 40, you're at 44. Your swing point here is uh, 39. So 39 is game. That's how this baby's shaking out, man. It's going to be, that's pretty, that's, that's really intense. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, okay, so I did, let's see, we did, I know, let's do Newmont to see who the buyers and sellers of Newmont are. So Newmont. Trading $58.70. We have, that's good. This is good. State Street's buying 2.8 million. Fidelity's buying 4.6 million shares. Who else? Charles Schwab, Credit Group, Teachers Union. Now let's see sellers. So sellers, we got Vanguard Group. That's ETF structure. So isn't BlackRock. 30, you got Floss back, sold a half million shares. State of California sold 139,000 shares. UBS sold a million shares. Um, Royal Gold, let's go to Royal Gold. No, yeah, let's go to Royal Gold. Let's see where, I know what I want to do first. We'll go to the GLD. And let's just see if any of the big boys and girls came into the GLD on these 13 F filings. Okay, so. Oh, that's a brand new position. This is interesting. Look at this guy. Um, Kronziga Asset Management. They bought 10.2 million. They own 3% of it on one get one get go. Morgan Stanley bought 1.6% of it. They own 3.64 now. You had CI Investments buy 3.5 million. Sellers were. Bank of Bank of America was the seller of two hundred twenty-seven thousand. Wells Fargo five seventy-eight. Nothing big, man. So that's basically a decent setup, man. Uh, if we go inside the NDX one hundred today and take a look at the winners versus the losers, what you have out here: you have Moderna is up seven percent. You got Vertex Pharmaceutical up three three and a half. Regeneron's up three point two. Peloton's up three. Uh, we got Lululemon down 3.8, Pinduoduo down 3.8, JD.com off 3.7, and Tesla down 3.5. Let's go over to Peloton for a second. You know, it was wild, folks, is that I was with a bunch of my cousins uh, yesterday, and um, man, <laughs> I, I, I got to look at Peloton because they, so the cousins I was with, they're all about 40 years old, right? So, like, yeah, I'm, I'm the old cousin, like. <laughs> uh, but the bottom line is, man, like three or four of them had these Pelotons, man, and they love them. They, you know, they, they were all telling me about them, and I was cracking up, man. I says, wow, this is something else. Um, so, you know, it's like, it's like they were looking at me. What do you mean you don't have a Peloton? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, but anyway, you know, you get, Peloton's got a rejection of a lower price out here today. It's going to take a lot of cause to get through this downdraft. You know, the downdraft, no doubt, uh, has been out here. And, well, it's going to be dangerous because you get this high volume low. The high volume low is still laying out there at $80. Let me see this for a second. That's on the daily. Yeah, oh, don't be touching Peloton. Because on the weekly, it'll probably test in 99 again. You're at 113, 50, 51 right now. Uh, but that looks to me like it, you're going to go in for a test once again. The TLT, the 20 year. Uh, ETF bonds, uh, bottom line is that they're going after the high once again. They, this, these, these are relentless, man. You know, you're up uh, five cents today. It's not that you're up a lot, but guess what? You're laying right at the highs at that 148. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. 
You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, we're down at 310. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 146. S&Ps are off uh, 34. And let's go take a look at those cues, man. <laughs> so, uh... This thing wants to do a little pop, man. Uh, you can see, oh, this one's a hard one, too, that last 10-minute bar. Yeah, it was, it actually, it's hard. I wasn't watching it close enough. It's hard to, to see if that was pushing down when it was hitting it. So you break 365.54 right where we're at right now, it'll, it'll go to the next leg coming right into the close. Oh, actually, hold it. No, I know what to do. I bring the futures up. So if we bring these futures up, You're at 152. There we go. 993. Yeah, we're going, man. It's, you're going to have a little more bounce here. That's what it looks like. Uh, because we just hit the 9... Uh, 993. Um, this thing wants to break it coming into the close. And that with that, so what that sets up, now let me go back to the cues again. So what that's going to set up is, yeah, it's going to set up another rejection of price, man. It's going to set up another rejection of price. The volume is expanded, but you're still going into 57 million, did 41. Yesterday we did 35. So bottom line is that this thing's not done yet. 
pretty amazing. You know, the way you, the way I would look at this right now, though, is that this is going to be a slow curve, slow ride, and I think the bottom of that consolidation can get basically tested. That's how it, that's how it seems to be uh, looking up. That that's the real bottom line. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Please come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show. Bam! Go get him, folks. Building wealth, trading.